Hey everyone! Today on the show I'm going to be showing you the Lomography Experimental Lens Kit for Micro Four Thirds Cameras. <laughs> Intro! What's the Lomography Experimental Lens Kit for Micro Four Thirds Cameras? I'm glad you asked me that question. I'm going to be telling you all about it today. It is a kit that consists of three lenses that you can use on a Micro Four Thirds cameras. And I have mine in this little eyeball pouch. So when you do this, whoop, 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 whoop. The pouch does not come with the lenses, but I found this pouch at a thrift store and they just happened to all three fit inside of it. And since it's an eyeball, I thought that would be ideal for transporting them. So let me just unzip my eyeball, and there they are. Can you see them? Eh? Look at those. This one did not come with a lens cap because I got them off of eBay. New, they're probably around uh, $100-ish, somewhere around there. But you can get them used off of eBay sometimes for considerably cheaper. I believe I paid about 40 bucks for the set. Um, they also come with this little pouch of these little with these little gels. Now, what do you do with these little gels, Iconoclast? Well, thank you for asking. I'm, I'm glad you asked. Essentially, these little lenses, if you take off the back part, there's this little gel slot. It says insert filter. And you put the gels in there and you can actually color the image. And that's a lot of fun. There's three lenses. There's the standard, which is a 24 millimeter lens. There is the fisheye lens, which is my favorite one of the group because it's so odd and strange. And then there's the wide angle lens, which is 12 millimeters. So it's really wide. So one of the really interesting things about these little lenses is um, they give you an interesting lo-fi look. They have the plastic, plastic lens element. And um, they also have a shutter on them. There's this little doohickey here to hold it open if you want to use the shutter on the camera. Or you can close that, which closes the shutter. And then there's a shutter on the lens itself for multiple exposures. If your camera can't do multiple exposures, you can do them with the lens itself, which is fun. And I have done it, and it is fun. This is the fish eye. So, so when you do that, it closes the little shutter that's inside the lens, and you can go and you can do multiple exposures with the lens itself, which is cool. You can also shoot video with these lenses, which is fun. I'll shoot a little video right now of my uh, lovely assistant Deja, who is holding the GoPro that you're watching me on. I'll shoot a little video now and I'll show you guys. Dun, 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 dun. You guys are looking at yourselves. Dun, 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 dun. So, yeah, the fisheye effect is uh, my favorite one because it's the most unusual and strange and that you don't really get to see every day. Um, but the lenses are really small and portable and the build quality is okay. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to drop them too many times um, because, they're, again, there's the shutter mechanism in there. There's a lot going on inside these that I really wouldn't want to damage. So, that's a bit of a thing. But they're not super duper, duper expensive. Let me show you some pictures that I've taken with these mofos. See what you think. Baboom. So this is the box that the Lomography Experimental Lens Kit came in, and you can see I, I always really enjoy the packaging that Lomography products have, they're always pretty neat. This is the instruction manual that it came with, and has information in about 800,000 different languages, but the coolest thing about it is, is that when you unfold it all the way, it's a giant poster, 
and I dig that. Here's a closer look at my eyeball pouch. It's got this cool lenticular thing on the front of it that when you move it, it looks like it's winking at you. So I thought that would be perfect for lenses. Here's a closer look at the lenses themselves, and one really nice thing is that the little lens caps on the back, they actually have, it actually says what lens it goes to, so nice. So I really, really enjoy them. They're a lot of fun. They're experimental. You can experiment with them. That's my favorite thing about photography, in case you don't know, is to experiment and to try new, unusual techniques and things that you haven't done before. So yeah, I really love these lenses. Um, again, you can get them from Lomography, I think. I think they're still available, or you can just buy them off of eBay. Again, that's an option too. Find me on the internets. I'm all over the damn internets. I'm on the Facebook, I'm on the, the Twitter, I'm on the Instagram, I'm on the DeviantArt, I'm on the Lomography.com, I have a Lomo home. Um, all of the pictures that I've taken that I love up with this with these lenses are on Lomography.com, so check that out. Yeah. Bye. See you next time.